Hey everyone, it's Sykes here today. I'm back with more Oshi no Ko. I'll be watching episode 4 today of season 2, where we left off with Abiko having a uh, interesting discourse or conversation with the manga for I'll Go to Sweets Day. And she doesn't want anybody to kind of hinder her work because she thinks it has to be done a certain way, which I can understand from her perspective. Also, at the very end of our last episode, she is going to be going to, I think it was Smash Heaven. Uh, this uh, two, two 5D, am I, am I saying right? But hopefully after she sees this place, she'll be a little bit more lenient. She'll keep the script writer intact and go forward with the show, which I think that's going to happen soon. We're going to see it soon. Because, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to have today's episode today. Don't forget to like, subscribe button, join the Rose Guild today. Without further ado, let's dive into this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we'll never see. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I think he... Yeah. Because he goes to watch to see who goes. Yeah. I know what I said made absolutely zero sense, but... Oh, when she writes a script? So she's not going to go with... Uh, I can't pronounce his name very well, Gao. He, he's obviously just trying to appease her. You know, I don't think he really wants her to write the script because it would take too long and they're on a time limit. Oh. Okay, so it, it does have to go through her. Oh, that's what he means by that. So if she writes the script, they have to use it. Oh, that's what he means Essentially, they're trying to reach a middle ground here. He has to protect his reputation, his background. Oh! Whoa! Uh huh. I like that they're they're keeping the script writer as it is though. But it all depends on how this conversation goes. Yeah, because this can't be the the first time they're doing this. They've done this before. It's probably my guess to be maybe how the ending goes. Oh, the ruffians. Probably because he thought that they that scene wasn't needed to add to the plot or anything. It's good. They're moving in the right direction of things here. Yeah. <laughs> she, I think she had a hard time admitting it because she's already kind of reprimanded him from his previous script for Tokyo Blade. Are they going to just cut the entire thing now? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, just bring it, bring it straight forward here. Did he delete? Did they delete everything? Or is it completely different now? Or is it a situation where it's so different now they have to inform the cast right away? Yeah, so they have a short time to work with. 
And the thing, this is all thanks to Lily Aqua just giving the manka a little nudge in the right direction. So far, everyone's pretty happy. He's the only one that isn't satisfied with it. Maybe because of his lack of experience in the industry, like being an actor. But even for Aqua. I think that's the scene that they captured in the opening right there. Uh-oh. It's, it's kind of like you have to show your tone and be vulnerable because of what you just bore witness to. Joy and hope. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Hence the title of the episode. Mm. So now this is going to send him more around Aqua's in terms of like his acting for this episode. Uh huh. He never expresses himself. Essentially, is the. Well, that's true. They did. They did grow up together to a degree, both being child actors. <laughs> This is ch this is a chance for Ka uh, this is a chance for Kana to Why did you have to say it like that? Oh man, you have no idea what emotional trauma that put him through. Man, 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 man. He's going to have to Uh, has he? Things made him happy? Actually, I don't know if he's ever been genuinely happy. But don't tell me that when the, the actual play happens, he's going to be thinking of I holding him in his arms when she was dying right in front of him. That's going to be sad to see if they do that. Oh, that right. That actually is a happy memory. Yeah. When they turned her reputation around after she was getting so much hate. That was a good one. Playing baseball with Kana. Try he was there for that too, her first Idol Show Rubies. Look at him. Well It's it's essentially it's it's like subconscious guilt dragging him back every time he wants to be happy. He thinks that he can't forget because it was his responsibility to protect I but he couldn't, I think, is is <laughs> Oh yeah, she's his girlfriend. But I don't know, I think he can't tell anybody about what happened when he was a kid. Because then the secret would get out about him being I hope she knows kid. But maybe he could tell Akane about what happened to him as a child, but not tell him who her mother was. Tell her who his mother was. Oh, yeah. It's like his... I mean, you, you kind of are right now. <laughs> you kind of are. We... Aqua, you're one of the few people that Aqua fully trusts. 
He's like. <laughs> それは酷い事件に巻き込まれてな。昔のことを思い出すとたまにああなるんだ。PTSD。うん。心的外傷のフラッシュバックってことですか。Yeah, I'm explaining it. But no matter how hard he tries to forget, he can never forget. I mean, obviously that's the diagnosis of PTSD. It's a harrowing flashback to a traumatic event, but Oh, that means we have to relive this too a little bit. <laughs> Is that his his past self? Because it, it kind of looks like his glasses a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if that was when he was a doctor. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna reveal it. She might figure this out by herself. <laughs> she she did but I feel like even if she finds out she won't reveal the secret to anybody else she might not even tell Aqua that she knows he's gonna look up and she, he's gonna see never mind I thought he was gonna see an image of I within Akane Wait, 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 hold on. He had folders of Hoshino, Hoshino and Aqua. And they just... What? Wait. Okay, I, I might need to go back and watch that a little bit. But, man, what an episode. They do such a good job of going from the play and then going over to more character development of certain characters they want to keep progressing off through the story. This is the first time we had something involving Aqua in season two, going back to where he's being affected by Aya's death. But he's still experiencing traumatic, well, obviously PTSD from that day. And every time he tries to overcome it, it's like his past self or the regret that he faces clings him back to never forgetting that instance and making him feel the way that he has. But I don't, I, I don't know. This is 